shocked. Everyone is dumbfounded. The combined attack of the six captains can't harm Aizen, what is the strength of this man? Hateful. Isn't it going to hurt it like this? Shinji Hiriko looked at this scene with an ugly expression on his face. The joint attack this time was purely improvised by everyone relying on years of combat experience. But don't want to, under such a sudden attack. Everyone was unable to cause any harm to Aizen. And at this moment, watch Aizen unscathed. Not only were some people horrified, but some even breathed a sigh of relief. I saw in the air standing among the deputy captains, Hinamori Momo breathed a sigh of relief. Great. Captain Aizen is not injured. Maybe it's because he didn't experience the stabbing in the back in the original plot. Hinamori Momo still can't believe that his Aizen captain has been pretending all these years. After learning about the Karakura town plan this time, regardless of the injury she had just recovered from, she forcibly followed the crowd to the battlefield. And at this moment, see Aizen being besieged by all the captains. Her whole heart was beating fast, afraid that Captain Aizen would get hurt. Fortunately, Captain Aizen is strong enough. Under the siege of so many people, he was unscathed. Thinking of this, Hinamori Momo's eyes are full of sparkles. Great. Captain Aizen is not injured. The moment the voice fell, the expressions of the surrounding deputy captains suddenly changed, and they looked at Hinamori Momo in surprise. However, Hinamori Momo didn't notice anything unusual. Instead, he clasped his hands together, looked at the captains of the Shinigami who surrounded Aizen Sosuke, and said puzzledly, What are you doing? Captain Aizen. Captain Aizen, he never betrayed, Captain Ichimaru Jin forced him. What you have to do, shouldn't you arrest Ichimaru Jin who is persecuting Captain Aizen? The moment the voice fell, everyone suddenly fell silent. Aizen is forced. This. What are you talking about? Senseless. Aizen is that big a sin man. Uf asterisk king tell us that he was coerced by Ichimaru Jin. Damn it. Hitsugaya Toshiro slapped his forehead. His face was covered with frost, he never imagined that at this point, Dao Zi still hadn't seen the truth clearly. This made him look up, suddenly looking at Aizen. It's you, Dao Zi, who became like this, go to hell, Aizen. The voice fell, he could no longer suppress the anger in his heart. With Hirenmaru in his hand, a Shunpo appeared in front of Aizen, and he drew his sword and swung it away. Die. Suddenly, Hirenmaru slashes towards Aizen. Ding. Aizen raised his knife to block, making a crisp sound. Call me without saying a word, impulsiveness is the devil, Captain Hitsugaya, looking at Hitsugaya Toshiro Aizen in front of him, he said calmly. Cut. No matter what, someone must break the deadlock. Hitsugaya Toshiro held the knife in both hands and pressed forward forcefully, at the same time, gritted his teeth and said. If you lose the opportunity, you will be controlled by illusion. So, you need to attack before you use Kyoka Suigetsu. The voice fell. The corners of Aizen's mouth curl up slightly. Really? Maybe I should compliment you. At the same time as he was speaking, his other hand, which was idle, was suddenly raised, reaching to block it out of thin air. And the next moment, boom, another slash attack. Unfortunately, this sudden attack was blocked by Aizen's previous spiritual lightning protection. I didn't plan to fight me one on one, you guys are smart, Aizen said calmly. Hear this. Jingle Chunshui, who came by surprise, showed a wry smile at the corner of his mouth. You mean to call me mean, Captain Aizen? Then I'll retract my preface, Captain Jingle. Aizen rolled his eyes and his face was extraordinarily calm. That is, at this very moment, suddenly, a majestic Ryatsu erupted in the air. This change, immediately attracted everyone in the confrontation. Subconsciously, everyone raised their heads and looked towards the sky. That is, the sky seemed to be broken, and cracks appeared suddenly. And the next moment, the exaggerated pitch black Ryatsu exploded, smashing the sky directly. Simultaneously, a cold and strange overlapping sound resounded. Looks like I'm not too late, everyone, the voice fell. Whether it is the captain of the Shinigami, the members of Visard all stared wide eyed. This Ryatsu. Shinigami's Ryatsu is entwined with the breath of hollow. Such a huge and sharp Ryatsu, it seems that only that person has it. Interesting, I didn't expect that at the critical moment, it was you who rushed over first, Kurosaki Ichigo. Zaraki Kenpachi's eyes widened sharply. Feeling this familiar Ryatsu, the corners of his mouth opened and he wanted to laugh wildly. And as his laughter sounded, the figure hidden in the broken sky finally jumped out of it. I saw, wearing a black windbreaker, holding a jet black long knife, a man wearing a hollow mask appeared out of thin air. Kurosaki. Ichigo. 
Aizen's expression didn't change, he just looked at Kurosaki Ichigo who suddenly appeared, and said his name. Simultaneously, Kurosaki Ichigo bursting from the black cavity. The jet black Ryatsu on his body keeps rushing towards Tensa Zanjetsu who is holding his hands tightly. Aizen. Sosuke, his eyes fixed on Aizen in the distance. Immediately. Swipe the Tensa Zanjetsu in your hand forward. Crescent sky rushing. The raging blackness Ryatsu cuts away in an instant. In an instant, the entire sky seemed to be blackened by this sudden attack. And feel the Ryatsu contained in this slash. Everyone, at this moment, widened their eyes in disbelief. Swelling. The jet black Ryatsu keeps expanding. In just an instant, the originally inconspicuous Yuya Tianchong swelled rapidly at this moment, and its size expanded dozens of times. In an instant, looking up, the whole sky can be seen. All that jet black Ryatsu slash, slashing at Aizen with nothing going forward. Boom. At this moment, a huge momentum sounded in everyone's ears. Seeing the desperately huge Ryatsu slash, at this moment, everyone was dumbfounded. What the hell? There is too much Ryatsu contained in this slash. You just squandered all of it in one attack, can you continue to fight later? Everyone on the field at this time. Its strength is also Shinigami at the vice captain level. Naturally, one can feel how terrifying the Ryatsu contained in this pitch black Ryatsu slash is. Captain level. That's all Ryatsu for a whole captain class Shinigami. You, Kurosaki Ichigo, are fine, you are so exaggerated when you swing a knife casually, it is too exaggerated. And at this moment, feel the crescent moon rushing towards me. Aizen just glanced away slightly, and didn't even turn around. Kurosaki Ichigo? I gradually forgot about your existence. Obviously you were the one I paid special attention to at the beginning, but compared to Natsuki, your growth is too slow, Kurosaki Ichigo. Facing the attacking crescent sky sideways, Aizen slowly raised his left hand sideways, aiming his palm at the crescent sky. Then. The moment when the crescent sky was approaching. Boom. Crack. 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 With a sudden shake of his left hand, he directly held the attacking crescent moon Tianchong in his palm. In an instant, the surging crescent sky rushed. In Aizen's hands, it fell into silence like a sleeping child. Moment. Watching this scene. Be it Captain Shinigami or members of Visard, keep your eyes wide open at the same time. Impossible. The traitor Aizen is too powerful. I didn't expect that a knife that contained a captain level Ryatsu would also. Aizen Sosuke, to what extent have you evolved, that such an attack can't even hurt you at all? Yurahara Kazuki put down the fan, staring at Aizen Sosuke, his heart was full of shock. Although I knew the power of Hogyoku for a long time, I never imagined that after the fusion of two Hogyoku, the promotion of Aizen would be so exaggerated. While on the other side, Kurosaki Ichigo looked even more bewildered. This. What's the situation? Obviously, I have become stronger after the Battle of Hueco Mundo. But, why, when facing his own attack, Aizen is still so understated? And with doubts, Ka, Kaka. Aizen held Yueya Tianchong's left hand, and suddenly exerted force. Pause time. The crescent sky that contains the huge Ryatsu. It was crushed and exploded in Aizen's hands, and turned into spirit particles and disappeared in the atmosphere. Simultaneously. Aizen said. Even under attack, his voice is still calm. Nothing has changed, as if everything in the world is king in its anticipation. Long time no see, traveling disaster boy. The moment the voice falls. Ignoring Hitsugaya Toshiro and Jingle Shunsui beside him, he turned to look at Kurosaki Ichigo. And looking at this scene, Kurosaki Ichigo's eyes widened even more, and his pupils trembled and murmured. I didn't finish my sentence, suddenly, he noticed a phantom flashing in front of his eyes. The next moment, I saw Aizen Sosuke suddenly protruding from the encirclement of Hitsugaya Toshiro and Jingle Harusui, and appeared in front of Kurosaki Ichigo. This is. His pupils widened, Kurosaki Ichigo, stepping back subconsciously. Russell, a slash passed through where he was originally standing. At the same time, after saying hello, Aizen looked up at Kurosaki Ichigo and commented. That attack just now. The strength is indeed enough, but, for me, there is still a long way to go. This distance is huge enough for me to crush your attack with one hand. The voice fell. Kurosaki Ichigo subconsciously frowned. He stared at Aizen intently, as if he was thinking about something. Seeing this, Aizen spoke again, and this opening surprised Kurosaki Ichigo. Let me guess what you're thinking. It's hollow, right? Hollow should be added to launch an attack just now. This is enough to defeat the enemy with one move. You, do you think so? You're right. Silence, Kurosaki Ichigo fell silent. 
His thoughts were just like what Aizen said, he was really thinking that he should use Hollow just now to launch an attack. While running in the black cavity, I just wanted to solve Aizen with one move. But. Because the injury has not fully recovered, Hollow was not used because he was worried that Hollow would affect the injury. You shouldn't be concerned about injuries, obviously fully prepared, but made a mistake at the last moment. Damn it. And at this moment, maybe he saw through Kurosaki Ichigo's thoughts. The corners of Aizen's mouth curled up slightly, and he said. Attack. Kurosaki Ichigo was taken aback. Seeing this, Aizen explained again with a kind heart. I said, after you use hollow, attack me again. That way, when the facts are in front of you, you will understand how small your thoughts are. After the words fell, Kurosaki Ichigo was taken aback again. But then he realized what Aizen said, being so underestimated by others, he swiped his left hand in front of him immediately. The mask of emptiness appeared in front of his face. Immediately, the breath on his body began to expand. Next moment. Crescent, due to turbidity. The pitch black Ryatsu condenses again and attacks Aizen. This time, the momentum of Yuya Qianchong is bigger than before, and its power is even more exaggerated. B. Aizen's figure disappeared instantly. When it reappeared, it was already standing behind Ichigo back to back. Moment. Kurosaki Ichigo widened his eyes. What's wrong? What are you surprised? Did you miss me? In the sky, Aizen spoke calmly behind Kurosaki Ichigo. Pause time. The pupils under the false mask shrank suddenly. At such a close distance, Aizen wanted to attack, and he didn't even have time to react. With the fear of Aizen in his heart, Kurosaki Ichigo quickly dodged and left Aizen's side. Hold tense Zanjetsu tightly with both hands, pupils tremblingly looked at Aizen opposite. How is this possible? Just now I have fully grasped the most perfect timing. How can Aizen dodge, is this the ability of Kyoka Suigetsu? After opening the distance, Kurosaki Ichigo recalled his previous attack, under normal circumstances it would be impossible to miss. But his attack had no effect at all, can't even detect Aizen's movements. If Aizen hadn't spoken out by himself, he might not have known that the other party had come behind him. And at this moment, looking at Kurosaki Ichigo, Aizen said flatly. Kyoka Suigetsu? Relax, I am not using Kyoka Suigetsu. With indifferent eyes, Aizen spoke slowly and took a step forward. Such a casual attitude is full of contradictions with the current tragic battlefield. But that's the attitude, but it put even heavier pressure on everyone present. How is it possible? Kurosaki Ichigo widened his eyes in disbelief. Just the basic ability makes him defenseless, if Aizen uses Kyoka Suigetsu's ability again. How powerful will it be? At this moment, in Kurosaki Ichigo's heart, Aizen is about to become an invincible existence, and he dare not attack Aizen casually. Even, subconsciously take a step back. In this regard, the corner of Aizen's mouth curled up, revealing a rare smile. Why are you backing away? If you want to attack me, shouldn't you get closer? Or, you are afraid that you will not be able to see my whole body if you are too close, which makes you uneasy. If that's the case, it's superfluous. Kurosaki Ichigo looked at Aizen solemnly, with a drop of cold sweat slowly streaming down his face. Aizen oppressed him too much. He was not only afraid that he would not be able to see Aizen, but he was afraid that Aizen's shots would make him unable to react. Only such a long distance, in order to bring yourself a little sense of security. Keeping a distance is only effective when we are evenly matched. There is absolutely no need between us. Because for me, there is no difference between such distance and non-existence. Aizen said, slowly raising his left hand. Kurosaki Ichigo didn't care what Aizen said, no matter what he said he would only do what he felt reasonable. Instead, he focused on Aizen's body movements. When Aizen raised a hand, he was thinking about what Aizen was going to do and how to defend himself. But the next moment, Kurosaki Ichigo widened his eyes. I couldn't believe it when I saw the scene in front of me. Only at this time did he understand what Aizen meant when he said that the distance between them had no meaning. I saw without realizing it. Aizen appeared in front of me in an instant. There is no movement, no movement, or there is. But Kurosaki Ichigo never found out when Aizen came to him. It was raised before. Obviously the left hand in the air. At this moment, you are only a stone's throw away from your heart. Look, I can easily touch your heart, but you can't do anything. Aizen said softly. Kurosaki Ichigo looked at Aizen in shock and forgot to breathe for a moment. How did this happen? Is there really such a big gap between the two? But shock is only a momentary thing. Kurosaki Ichigo has experienced countless battles so far, so he won't just be stunned. Swing Tensa Zanjetsu to parry away Aizen's right hand, 
and then dodge for a moment to open the distance with Aizen again. No matter how Aizen does it, as long as there is still a little hope, Kurosaki Ichigo can't sit still. Only, such a power gap is too desperate. I have a question, the boy in trouble. Why are you fighting? Is it because you have a deep hatred with me? Probably not. This. Kurosaki Ichigo frowned, and didn't have an accurate answer for a while. Since you've come here, it means that the person you want to save is safe. Looking at your face, it's obvious that the partner you care about is fine. So, you have no reason to hate me at all. As Aizen said, the corner of his mouth curled up again, as if talking to Kurosaki Ichigo would interest him more than talking to other people. Kurosaki Ichigo is silent, it seems that I really don't have much hatred for Aizen. But in this scene, it is really difficult to speak out, so he can only be silent and listen to what Aizen has to say next. You have no hatred now, why on earth are you waving a knife at me? It should be just out of a sense of responsibility. Responsibility, such blunt force is impossible to hurt me. Aizen's smile gradually widened, and he looked at the flustered Kurosaki Ichigo and said. Fighting without hatred is like an eagle without wings, which cannot protect anything. A weak partner will only be a drag on you. Kurosaki Ichigo held Tensa Zanjetsu's hands. Tight and loose, loose and tight, Aizen's previous words are all in my mind. At this moment, his heart was shaken, he didn't know why he wanted to fight Aizen, and he began to doubt his ability, can he really defeat Aizen? If these are true, what is the purpose of waving the knife in vain here? The tip of Tensa Zanjetsu's knife, which was raised high, fought in the heart of Kurosaki Ichigo. Start to drop height little by little, it was like the faith in Kurosaki Ichigo's heart was slipping away bit by bit. However, suddenly, at this moment, a voice sounded. It's so easy to be shaken, it's not like you, a murmur. Ichigo. Don't lose your sense of proportion. We should all know who Aizen is, and he is very good at using words to confuse people. Look at that idiot, he still thinks Aizen is a good guy. Natsuki let go of Tensa Zanjetsu's hand, and turned his eyes to Hinamori Momo in the distance. Yes. Appeared at this time, naturally, it is Natsuki who hasn't shown up for a long time. The previous battle with Ukiora took some time, when he found Long Gui and the others. But it turns out that Ichigo came to the world first. Reluctantly, Natsuki had to leave a few people behind and rush to Hueco Mundo first. Unexpectedly, just running one step ahead, Ichigo was already overwhelmed by Aizen's mouth attack. Natsuki. Seeing Natsuki appear, Kurosaki Ichigo cried out in great surprise. Always felt a bit thin against an enemy like Aizen alone, and he was very encouraged by Natsuki's arrival. Natsuki, it's great that you're here. With that, it's time to make a deal with Aizen. Ichigo, Natsuki, we will do our best to protect you, let's go together. Seeing Natsuki appearing, Hiroko Shinji and Toshiro's eyes lit up, and they quickly gathered beside them. When Kurosaki Ichigo and Aizen confronted each other earlier, they have already gathered here. Even if Natsuki doesn't, it will help Kurosaki Ichigo regain confidence, after all, he is arguably everyone's hope. Now there is one more Natsuki, of course it is better. And at this moment, Natsuki didn't say anything. But Kurosaki Ichigo who heard Toshiro's words said in surprise. Fight to protect me? What nonsense are you talking about? You are all covered in bruises, if you continue to go on, wouldn't you be sending yourself to death? Kurosaki Ichigo said and looked around, no one is really intact. Of course, except for Natsuki, I don't know how he did it. Just dealt with Ukiora, and at this time it looked as if he had never experienced a battle. Subconsciously, Hiroko Shinji turned to look at Kurosaki Ichigo, and said. What nonsense, you really can't do it if you want to fight alone. That's not fighting at all, it's death. Don't even think about it, if you died in vain and didn't kill Aizen, how many people would be unable to swallow this breath? Kurosaki Ichigo was taken aback for a moment, then said. Why am I alone, isn't there a real tree? For a moment. All eyes turned to Natsuki. A group of animals ran wildly in Natsuki's heart, Ichigo, just say what you want, why do you want to add me? However, at this time, the morale of the teammates cannot be affected. Natsuki nodded seriously and said, yes, and me. Cough. Now it's not a matter of one or two people. The victory over Aizen is the credit of all of us. If it is monopolized by the two of you, then it is really shameless. Hiroko Shinji was also a little embarrassed, but recovered quickly. The life and death of Hayori injured by Aizen is unknown. In addition to being calculated and hated by Aizen in the past, and the new and old hatred added together, Hiroko Shinji just wants to get rid of Aizen as soon as possible. Stop talking. This is a battle for all of us. As Hiroko Shinji's last words fell, Toshiro was the first to attack, and Hirenmaru quickly slashed at Aizen's face. 
It is impossible for Aizen not to notice such an obvious attack, and casually mention Kyoka Suigetsu, blocking Tu Niang's attack. Still so impulsive, Captain Hitsugaya. Aizen easily parried Toshiro's attack, repeating what he said earlier. There's no rush in fighting you, who knows what you'll do with Kyoka Suigetsu's abilities, and instead of dodging an evasive, she fights openly. Toshiro's eyes flickered, he seemed to want to confirm something. Therefore, H took the lead in attacking twice in a row. Aizen chuckled lightly, just as he was about to say something, he waved his left hand without warning. In an instant, a defensive barrier was set up beside him, and a shadow like short sword appeared beside Aizen again without warning. Pity, although short sword is very hidden. But it was still blocked by the defensive barrier. The next moment, the defensive barrier was shattered, and the short sword also lost the ability to attack, and retreated helplessly into Jingle Chunshui's hands. Really, you don't have a long memory at all. Obviously the same attack method, why do you think I will be fooled? Yeah, yeah, even though it's just one attempt, if the same attack works twice, it's worth it. Talking room. Jingle Chunshui put Zanpakuto on his shoulders. Showing his usual lazy and indifferent appearance. However, after listening to what Jingle Chunshui said, a rare serious look appeared on Aizen's face. Really? If what I said misunderstood you, I can take back what I said earlier. This moment, the two don't look like life and death enemies. Instead, it's more like a colleague who was in the Soul Society before. It seems a bit difficult to handle. Natsuki raised an eyebrow. Sure enough, Aizen is so easy to deal with. Jingle Chunshui's previous sneak attack can be said to be perfect. Aizen talked to Toshiro again, and Jingle deliberately kept the attack hidden in the shadows. Even so, Aizen still escaped Jingle Chunshui's attack. It can even be seen that Aizen is a little more comfortable with this attack. And be able to do that. Either Aizen's strength is no longer at the same level as Jingle Chunshui, or Aizen has never let down his vigilance. Certainly. According to Natsuki's guess. It is more likely that both exist at the same time. But no matter what, Aizen is a hurdle that cannot be skipped. Thinking of this, Natsuki raised the corner of his mouth, looked at the appearance of Aizen in the distance, and chuckled. Things are getting more interesting. The voice fell instantly. Boom. The blue Ryatsu burst out. Natsuki held Yuli tightly, looking like he might rush up at any time and fight with Aizen. Natsuki Toshiro, watching the three of Natsuki burst out suddenly. At this moment, Kurosaki Ichigo was a little confused. I don't understand why he suddenly changed his face when he said it well a moment ago. Ichigo. We are still fighting now, so don't be swayed by the enemy's words. Seeing Kurosaki Ichigo's appearance, I know that he is still struggling in his heart at this time, Natsuki reminded. Um? Kurosaki Ichigo looked at Natsuki suspiciously. The battles you have experienced along the way, there are times when you fight because of hatred, and there are times when you don't fight because of hatred. Hearing Natsuki's words, Ichigo's mind quickly flashed through the battles he had experienced before. It seems that there are almost no battles due to strong hatred. On the contrary, it is more of a battle to protect one's own partners and to accomplish a common goal. A gleam appeared in Kurosaki Ichigo's eyes. Fighting is actually more about responsibility and protection. Hatred or something, not only can't make people strong, but it can make people lose their minds. Natsuki paused for a moment, then continued, You stand here, it was decided by your own will. The voice fell, Natsuki became extra tall in the heart of Kurosaki Ichigo. This is not only reflected in the strength, but more in the realm. At the same time, Hiroko Shinji also responded. That's right, you are different from us, but being able to stand here is indeed due to your own will. Following his opening, Natsuki also discovered the injuries on Visard's group, and silently reminded. Don't worry about your injuries. I can't help it. At this stage of the battle, I don't have time to go to Captain Yunohana for treatment. Hiroko Shinji shook his head helplessly. But this appearance made the corners of Natsuki's mouth twitch, and he said. So I'm standing in front of you, why don't you ask me to help treat the injury? Have known each other for such a long time, he thought that his ability should already be known to everyone. Do you have the ability to heal? Hiroko Shinji turned his head to look at Natsuki, a bit disbelieving. Such a strong fighting force, you say you are a therapist, but I believe you. It seems that Yurahara Kazuki didn't tell you, Natsuki nodded thoughtfully. While saving Kurosaki Masaki in Arisawa Tatsuki. Naturally, I picked up healing skills from Urahara Kazuki and Tesai Sukabishi, and used them in front of them. But in the form of the Visard group, it seems that Urahara Kazuki did not leak this information, Natsuki thought. Subsequently, looking at everyone in Visard, he smiled lightly and said, I'll let you all see my unparalleled healing ability. 
Now we all belong together. He is naturally not stingy with his healing ability. Natsuki, you really know how to heal, are you kidding me? Shinji Hiroko looked at Natsuki with disbelief written all over his face, but full of expectation. If Natsuki really has a very good healing ability, then they have a better chance of winning this battle with Aizen. Of course, look good. Natsuki nodded, a green healing light shone in his hand, and quickly began to heal the members of the Masked Legion. It is not a treatment for one person, but several people at the same time. This kind of healing ability, in Gote 13, can only be achieved by Captain Yunohana Retsu. The wound is starting to heal as well. This? My spiritual power has begun to recover. Such therapeutic efficiency. Amazing. In just a moment, the members of the Masked Legion immediately felt the changes in their bodies, and they all said in shock. To know. Natsuki dissects an unknown amount of spiritual power. He is already very familiar with the manipulation of spiritual power, and using healing ability to help others recover quickly can be said to be handy. Far away, Kurosaki Ichigo watched the scene. He's already used to it, he already knew that Natsuki has many abilities, so he didn't make any fuss about such things. Aizen, you wait, I'm coming. It's been amazing, I've fully recovered. Just for a moment, the injuries of Hiroko Shinji and others were completely recovered. Looking at Natsuki again, there is almost no change, and there is no other healer after treatment, tired and out of breath. Feel the recovered body. Shinji Hiroko breathed a sigh of relief. Immediately thinking of something, I looked at Natsuki expectantly, and asked. Natsuki. Since you know how to heal, please help me see Hayori's injuries. Sound falls. A straight bow to Natsuki. Immediately, without giving Natsuki a chance to react, he turned around and rushed towards Aizen. Seeing this, the other masks subconsciously glanced at each other, then nodded in the same way, and began to look for opportunities to attack Aizen. Really? I don't charge for treatment, so is it necessary to be in such a hurry? Looking at the backs of this group of people, Natsuki shook his head helplessly. Wait a while. Attack when you find the opportunity. After Visard rushed out, Sui Fung appeared behind them at some point. To know, Natsuki is now sided with Ichigo. When she said these words, she didn't know who she was talking to. But the next moment, Sui Fung turned his head and said awkwardly. I didn't say you, Natsuki. Huh? Natsuki was slightly taken aback. Some don't understand why she wants to remind herself specially. To know, after killing Sui Fung at the gate of Team 9. Perhaps because of embarrassment in front of the most respected Yoruichi Sama, she never talked to herself. Why is it suddenly better now? At this moment, Sui Fung didn't understand the surprise in Chu Shashu's heart and explained. If you can heal, don't go forward to fight. With you in the rear, we have more chances. Is this how you arranged it? Just right. I can also take this opportunity to observe Aizen's strength. After hearing the explanation, Natsuki nodded thoughtfully, and at the same time of answering, he mentioned a thought of his own. The voice fell. Sui Fung nodded in satisfaction, followed by Kaido. With you and Captain Yunohana Retsu here, our battle this time will not be completely death defying. After speaking, but with a cold face again, he looked at Ichigo again. Listen up, Ichigo. This is a battlefield, if you are not careful, you will die. Hold on tight, I'm going up. The voice fell. Sui Fung and Ashunpo disappeared from the spot. But the next moment, his figure appeared not far from Aizen. Obviously, she was a little bit dissatisfied with Ichigo's previous actions. However, it's not dissatisfaction with Ichigo's wavering, but dissatisfaction with him losing his mind in such a dangerous venue. The voice fell. Already awakened by Natsuki's few words. Encouraged by Sui Fang's words at this time, Kurosaki Ichigo has completely walked out of the shadow built by Aizen in his heart, and said calmly. I see. In the next battle, I will never waver again. It's not about the so-called hatred, I just want to protect myself, my companions, and my homeland. As the sound falls, Kurosaki Ichigo's eyes sharpen suddenly. There is no longer the dazed and wavering look before, and the tense zanjetsu in his hand is full of sharpness again. To hear Kurosaki Ichigo talking to himself, Natsuki nodded thoughtfully. As expected of the protagonist, just one or two sentences re-firmed his heart. Even, after experiencing this wave of shaking and re-firming the play. His Ryatsu actually improved again, a bit stronger than before. While on the other side, Toshiro and Jingle Chunchui did not stop their movements. Hirenmaru in Toshiro's hand was already swaying after images, and every knife was aimed at Aizen's neck. Unfortunately to no avail, Aizen didn't fight back a single time, just casually turned his body to one side, or avoided all of Toshiro's attacks. Even, he also handled Jingle Chunshui's sneak attack from a tricky angle with ease. 
This moment, one side goes all out, and the other side takes time off. As for this scene, the vice captains watching the battle below Zarang gradually felt hopeless. Captain, they. Dot can you really defeat Aizen? No one can give an answer, or no one wants to answer. And at this time, over the sky after Aizen dodged Jingle Chunshui's attack again. He didn't stop at the same place, instead he pulled away the distance from the two of them in an instant, looked at Jingle Chunshui and praised. You're really calm when you're in danger, Captain Jingle. At this time, you can still hold your breath, and you will only look for opportunities to attack. The voice fell, Jingle Chunshui stretched out his hand and scratched his cheek, Lazy Kaido. Thank you for the compliment, I have always been like this, you can say that I am a treasured sword. At this time, Jingle Chunshui looked lazy. It is completely unimaginable how tricky and incomprehensible his sneak attack was just now. However, with such a tricky attack, Aizen still cannot be touched. Aizen, do you think we will still believe your words? What are you planning now? Toshiro gasped twice, allowing his body to calm down, he looked at Aizen warily. The voice fell, Aizen still looked calm and said. Whether you believe it or not, the facts are here. Of course, if you don't believe me, you can prove it yourself, Captain Hitsugaya. Aizen tilted his head and said lightly, he didn't pay attention to the more and more enemies on the opposite side at all. Impossible. The captain is the one who puts the sense of responsibility on the handle of the knife and kills the enemy with his hands. Fighting out of hatred is nothing but dirty violence. Aizen, with such thoughts, you really don't deserve to be the captain. Toshiro is not so sure in his heart, but he really thinks that way, he needs to speak out to get more people's approval. It would be even better if Aizen could be mentally attacked. Interesting, since you think fighting out of hate is just dirty violence. So, Captain Ribogu, why are you fighting me? Toshiro was taken aback, a figure appeared in my mind. This made his expression slightly silent for a moment. But he didn't want to. Aizen saw what Toshiro was thinking at a glance, and the corner of his mouth curled up. Do you dare to say that there is no hatred for me in your Zanpakuto? Or, after hearing that Hinamori Momo believes in me as always, you will lose all hatred in an instant. Actually, your hatred for me, it's not small at all, isn't it, Captain Hitsugaya? The moment the voice fell, Hitsugaya Toshiro's pupils contracted suddenly, and he looked at Aizen angrily. Shut up. You are not qualified to mention her, Aizen Sosuke. Calm down. Captain Hitsugaya, at this moment, Jingle Chunshui noticed that Toshiro was strange, and a Shunpo appeared in front of Aizen interrupting his conversation with an attack. Certainly, Aizen dodged the attack again. But his bewitching was interrupted just then, and his voice couldn't help but sink a bit. It's like this again. Captain Jingle, you always interrupt others. This is a bad habit. You should change it. However, Jingle Chunshui ignored Aizen's sarcasm. Is that so, I'm really sorry, Captain Aizen. However, your words are really harsh, so I'm not in the mood to continue listening. The voice fell. Jingle Chunshui rolled his eyes at Toshiro behind him. Fortunately, Toshiro came back to his senses again. Although the breath is still unstable, it is obviously much better than before. But I feel it is necessary to let you face the reality. If it is not possible, we can chat while fighting. Aizen's words are as polite as ever, but on this occasion, it was not comfortable at all. And at this moment, now that I have recovered from Aizen's bewitchment, Toshiro will never forget the task he assigned, Aizen. Aizen. Stop talking about the extra words, Shie. The voice fell, the Ryatsu on him exploded suddenly. Boom. The moment Ryatsu suddenly exploded. Countless ice crystals condensed behind him, turning into dragon tail, dragon spine and dragon wings. At the same time, Toshiro's hands and feet also turned into ice dragon claws, and three huge ice crystals were suspended around Toshiro's body. Toshiro let out a cold breath. Looking at Aizen in front of him, he said coldly. Hi Rinmaru. Toshiro at this time. Like the incarnation of an ice dragon, the surrounding temperature plummeted. Hyrinmaru, the strongest ice Zanpakuto, Zanpakuto that is said to be comparable to Ryujin Jaka, the captain of Yamamoto. Showcasing his truly terrifying power. Aizen, you are right, my Zanpakuto embodies hatred. In that case, in order to avenge you, let me use Hyrinmaru to turn you into ice. With the roar of Toshiro, the cold wind roared, and the powerful Ryatsu radiated out making almost everyone feel a strong sense of oppression. Is this the Captain Class Ryatsu? As expected of a once in a thousand year genius, he can actually change the sky. Not only Captain Hitsugaya, but the other captains, and Kamen started improving their Ryatsu. The war is about to begin, protect the wounded. The vice captains below, as well as the third and fourth seats, watched the great battle in the sky, and they all exclaimed. 
This level of combat, it's no longer something they can interfere with. Even watching from the edge, without the protection of the enchantment, it is still dangerous. And at this moment, Hitsugaya Tashiro raises the knife to Aizen. Next I will beat you to death, Aizen. Draw your sword, or you won't even have a chance to activate Kyoka Suigetsu. After Bankai, Tashiro's eyes became extremely cold. It was as if a prey eating dragon was watching Aizen. Hee <laughs> hee. No chance to activate Kyoka Suigetsu? Aizen smiled instead. Since you don't seize the opportunity yourself, there is no reason to blame others. I will never show mercy. Die. Aizen. Tashiro flapped his ice wings, swung his dragon tail, and rushed towards Aizen twice as fast as before. Zanpakuto in his hand pointed directly at Aizen's throat. Ice dragon spinning tail. Dagoran Hirenmaru slashed an arc shaped blade of ice. This arc shaped ice blade attacked Aizen extremely quickly. Such a swift attack, even a captain level Shinigami is not easy to dodge. But Aizen tapped his feet, turned to the side, and dodged from a lost angle. However, for this scene, Toshiro seemed to have predicted it. With the same move, the ice blade turned into an ice dragon and went straight to Aizen's face. Ice dragon spinning tail, absolutely empty, this moment. Aizen is absolutely sure to block or dodge, but the moment he raised his hand, his movements were slightly slow for a moment, and his eyes turned aside. I saw on the left and right sides, a figure appeared on each side. On the left is Love Akawa from Visard, and on the right is Shinigami leader Jingle Shunsui. Tengu Wan. Love Akawa suddenly launched an attack. His injuries have fully recovered with Natsuki's healing. Ice Dragon. Mace, Kaden Kyokotsu two knives, three attacks arrive at the same time. But, Aizen is just a raised eyebrow, without any hesitation, he dodged and swung Kyoka Suigetsu to block at the same time, and received the attacks of the three in an instant. Attack by three people, apart from shooting a lot of ice crystal smoke, it has no effect. But under the cover of the ice crystal smoke, Aizen dodges again, opening the distance between himself and the enemy. Although he said before the negative evaluation of various distances. But in real battle, he won't let others besiege immediately. Sorry to interrupt your revenge battle. Love Akawa said while carrying a mace. It doesn't matter, as long as I can kill Aizen, I won't stick to one on one battles. Toshiro said indifferently, Dagoran Hirenmaru's coldness also affected his emotional expression. The voice fell, the ice crystal dissipated, and a figure appeared in the sky. The three people who shot were all shocked, you know, they show no mercy. But even under such circumstances, it still didn't have any impact on Aizen. And at this moment, Aizen stands in the air. Looking at the three people and more enemies in the air, finally, there was a look of anticipation in his eyes. The three of you cooperate well. Unfortunately, this is not enough. If you don't use all means, you won't be able to catch me. Interesting, even if you are outnumbered, you are still so calm. A Toribashi Rojiro didn't give Aizen a chance to speak, Kinsara turned into a long whip and swung it towards Aizen, wrapping around Kyoka Suigetsu's blade. Aizen, die. Taking advantage of the moment when Aizen's weapon was restrained by a Toribashi Rojiro. With a roar, Yadumaru Lisa came straight to Aizen's face with a dragonfly in her hand. The wind pressure that comes with the attack makes it hard to breathe. One can imagine how powerful Yadumaru Lisa is at this moment. However, Aizen still has spare energy, Zanpakuto flicked lightly in his hand, and blocked the attack with the lower half of the blade. It's blocked, it's a pity. Yadumaru Lisa couldn't take a single blow, and stepped back, reminding at the same time, Roz, continue to restrict Aizen like this. I know as long as Aizen is contained, they always have a chance. Hearing this, Aizen finally changed his expression a little bit, because of what is unknown. When two people talk, Love Akawa was ready to go, and Tengumaru slammed down on Aizen heavily. Atoribashi Rojiro knew that he had to restrain Aizen at this time, and the hand holding Jinsara suddenly tightened, preventing Aizen from having time to move. But next moment, Atoribashi Rojiro felt great power coming from Jinsara. I could only watch helplessly as Aizen dragged Kansharo and forced Yadumaru Lisa back with a knife, turned around and dragged Kansharo again, swung his knife and knocked away Love Akawa who was attacking from top to bottom. How can it be? Atoribashi Rojiro looked at Aizen in disbelief. Obviously he has already controlled the opponent's Zanpakuto, but he doesn't seem to have any restrictive effect at all. Love Akawa was equally shocked, his own attack was so easily defeated by Aizen. And at this time, while several people were shocked, Komamura Sajin quietly came to the battlefield, Zanpakuto slashed at Aizen. It's useless, Captain Komamura. Feeling the attack, Aizen didn't look back, and waved Zanpakuto. Boom. 
a cold light flashed, and the Zanpakuto in Komamura Sajin's hand was cut in two. For a moment, everyone looked at Aizen in disbelief. Under such an attack, even a piece of Kakuzu was not damaged. Aizen's strength is too strong. In the face of Captain Komamura's attack, he was unscathed. At the same time Aizen held the knife in one hand, looked at the crowd and said calmly. Didn't I already tell you? If you only rely on numbers and brute force, there is no way to defeat me. You must use all means. Far away, Natsuki raised an eyebrow slightly. Knowing that Aizen is finally going to show his full strength. Reality he wanted to say it from the very beginning. Those of them who fight Aizen don't need to be on guard. With Aizen's strength, no one can guard against Kyoka Suigetsu if he wants to use it. Not to mention, except for Kyoka Suigetsu. The strength of Aizen itself that surpasses many captains is not something these people can easily contend with. At the same time, the moment Aizen's voice fell. His figure suddenly disappeared, and when he reappeared, he was already in front of Komamura Sajin. No more BBS. Just hold up your own Zanpakuto. Aizen. Komamura Sajin looked shocked, but did not panic, and instantly used Bankai. Swastika solution. The Black Rope Heaven Scourge. A huge black armored warrior appeared from behind Komamura Sajin, doing exactly the same movements as Komamura Sajin, parrying Aizen's attack with a horizontal knife. Komamura Sajin's Bankai can be a different kind of giantization, both in strength and defense, it will be multiplied. The only disadvantage is that it is not fast enough and not flexible enough. But this time does not need to be flexible, as long as you block Aizen's attack, the surrounding teammates can completely make up for his lack of flexibility. Unfortunately, the appearance of the Black Rope Heavenly Scourge King Ming. It didn't affect Aizen's movement, Zanpakuto still cut it. Base. The sound of knives sounded, the next moment, the huge saber of Black Rope Heavenly Scourge King Ming was split in two from the middle. The light of the knife castrates unabated, continue to go down until one of the arms of King Ming Ming of the Black Rope is cut off and finally disappears. However, the Black Rope Heavenly Scourge Ming Wang can be said to be the clone of Komamura Sajin. All the damage it receives will be reflected on Komamura Sajin's own body. The already short Zanpakuto in his hand was cut off again at this moment, and one hand was also cut off at the same time. Damn, Aizen. Severe pain stimulates Komamura Sajin. Arousing his fierceness, he directly shortened the distance with Aizen, and pierced Aizen with only a small section of Zanpakuto in his hand. This moment, his eyes are very firm. Even if Zanpakuto and the arm were severed at the same time, he would leave a little scar on Aizen's body. Pity. The gap between the two is too great. Whether it is speed, strength, Ryatsu, they are far from the same level. Hee hee, it's just the crazy words of the incompetent. Aizen laughed contemptuously, and then quickly slashed and threw it away. Boom. Komamura Sajin has a huge gash in his chest. He didn't have any chance to react, he could only be smashed by such a huge force and fell far away. Captain Komamura. Seeing Komamura Sajin hurt so badly. Many people exclaimed, and some even desperately wanted to save people in. But the next moment, but saw a figure appear in an instant. I saw, Natsuki Ashunpo appeared in front of Komamura Sajin. He caught the fallen Komamura Sajin with one hand, and the green light flashed in his hand, and the treatment started immediately. Watching this scene, others found out that Natsuki came to the crowd at some time and was ready to rescue them. It's Natsuki. Thank goodness Natsuki is here to heal the wound. Good. With Natsuki here, Komamura Sajin should be fine. In that case, let's go together, don't let the opportunity created by Captain Komamura go to waste. Atoribashi Rojiro, Yadumaru Lisa, and Love Akawa looked at each other, and the next moment, the three of them attacked again. Go together. Looking at the scene in front of him, Aizen's eyes flashed a hint of mockery. What's the use of fighting together in front of me? Dot you all pay for your immaturity. The voice fell, Aizen raised his right hand. Zanpakuto pointed at everyone. It's just ridiculous to want to hurt me, Wen Yan. Love Akawa stared at Aizen coldly and said coldly. Underestimate us. Then don't blame us for being rude to you. Behind them is Natsuki, the most powerful rescuer. Even if they are injured and dying, as long as they have their last breath, Natsuki can heal them and join the battle again. Go to hell, Aizen. Love Akawa definitely won't give Aizen time to relax. Once Aizen has the energy to resist, with Kyoka Suigetsu, they are no match for him. Crush him, Tengumaru. The appearance of Zanhun Dao changes instantly. The original sealed state form has changed into a mace of a super-sized cactus. Love Akawa, a Shunpo, appeared in front of Aizen, holding the mace high above his head. As a former Shinigami captain, 
Love Eikawa is undoubtedly very powerful. The thick riatsu condenses on the oversized mace, creating an inexplicable force. Next moment. A roar sounded, but it was Love Eikawa in midair bombarding Aizen with the extra-large mace in his hand. Moment. Along with the waves, the power of terror is released. Hey, Captain Aichuan, I know your strength like a finger. And at this moment, watching the attack coming before me, Aizen's face did not show the color of fear, and this scene also appears in the eyes of other visors. Yatumaru Lisa and Atoribashi Rojiro looked at each other, and they both saw the determination in their eyes. At all costs, Love Eikawa takes the lead, and the two cannot fall behind. Boom. Two forces attack from different angles. The target of the attack is very clear, and it rushed straight to Aizen. Boom. A huge explosion sounded, in the mid-air where Aizen was, an exaggerated thick smoke appeared. Watching this scene, there is a glint of hope in everyone's eyes. Under such a powerful attack force, absolutely no life can survive. Pity, before everyone rejoices, but I heard a small rubbing sound from behind. Aizen walked out slowly behind them under the watchful eyes of everyone. While walking, clap your hands together to show encouragement. The destructive power of the three of them is really amazing, but it's a pity that it has no effect on me. Moment. Everyone stared wide-eyed. Under such a swift attack, Aizen was not only unscathed, but even greatly consumed the Ryatsu of the three of them. In this confrontation, they lost even more thoroughly. Not hurt. How is this possible, the strength of the three of us, he can resist it so easily. Did Aizen use Kyoka Suigetsu? Love Eikawa guessed, but just now Aizen didn't even take out his Zanhandao at all, this guess is not true at all. Strength, speed, strength, Aizen are far ahead of them. They were in a real battle, but they never got the slightest benefit from Aizen's hands. Far away Natsuki stared at the battle in front of him. As for Aizen's strength in his heart, he also predicted that there was almost a result. Aizen is very powerful, so strong that you don't need to use Kyoka Suigetsu to crush all the Shinigami captains. And at this moment, just as Natsuki observes, Aizen glanced at everyone in front of him, and said calmly. The strength between you and me is just the difference between a baby and an adult. I advise you to surrender obediently. The truth is exactly as he said. From the battle till now, the opponents he faced have changed one after another. But up to now, he has not even a speck of dust on his body. This powerful strength immediately made many people despair. But at this moment, a light laugh, angrily sounded from the side. Babies and adults? This kind of self-confidence is really ridiculous and pitiful. But Natsuki chuckled, and after treating Komamura Sajin, he finally stood up slowly. I heard this. Aizen looked sideways slightly. Looking at Natsuki, his expression finally changed slightly. Natsuki, I've been waiting for you to make a move, can you finally take it? Even if surrounded by all the captains, Aizen has never changed a single bit. But after hearing Natsuki's voice, a hint of interest finally appeared on his face. Since Soul Society lost to Natsuki, he knew that he had never seen this variable clearly. And an unidentifiable enemy is far more frightening than a threat on the surface. And at this moment, hear Natsuki's voice. Lisa Atoribashi Rojiro looked at Natsuki and spoke with a strong tone. Natsuki, don't listen to his aggressive tactics, hide behind us, we are here to deal with it. He doesn't know the strength of Chu Shashu, but for Natsuki's healing ability, has already experienced it. That kind of exaggerated ability to abruptly heal everyone to the best state will never allow accidents to happen easily. But the voice fell instantly. Aizen in the distance cast his eyes away but his understatement revealed a bit of disdain. Aren't you scared so quickly now? This sentence is more like a naked provocation. He stomped Visard's dignity on the ground, and fell twice hard. Moment. Lisa Toribashi Rojiro turned cold, and said indifferently. You'd better put your attention on us. If you say such big words, you won't be afraid of flashing your tongue. He knows, I and others are no match for Aizen anyway. But this does not mean that Aizen can trample on their dignity for no reason and without a bottom line but don't want to, the moment his voice fell. Aizen smiled, the corners of his mouth curled slightly, but he did laugh. Interesting, it seems that I didn't completely knock you down just now, but gave you a chance to resist me. The sound fell instantly, boom, a huge riatsu. In an instant, it pressed everyone present indiscriminately. Boom. The faint blue riatsu beam of light soars into the sky. And in the riatsu beam of light, Aizen's figure in white clothes stands impressively. And at this moment, Aizen's eyes swept across the crowd. Looking at the crowd of Visard, the smile on the corner of his mouth gradually became serious. After playing for so long, 
he didn't like this group of defeated generals from a hundred years ago to continue wasting time. Thinking like this, he raised his right hand slightly, aiming Kyoka Suigetsu at everyone. Danger. Watching this scene, Natsuki raised his eyebrows slightly. An inexplicable sense of crisis welled up in my heart, of course, it was not aimed at myself, but at Visard and everyone. But. Now this is his partner. Wouldn't it be embarrassing for me to hurt you just like that? Thinking of this, Natsuki looked at Aizen, and saw that Dokage appeared behind Aizen at some point. And the next moment, Natsuki looked at Aizen, raised the corner of his mouth, and said softly. Silence. Ming flash. The moment the sound fell. The spiritual power penetrated the whole body, and Natsuki disappeared from the spot in an instant. And when he appeared again, his figure had appeared behind Aizen. Ding. Aizen turned his head alertly. Zhanhendao was raised, and the Ridao sword split the clouds in the sky into two halves. What a speed. It's just that, for me, this little trick can't cover up my perception. Looking at Natsuki who suddenly appeared behind him, Aizen was not surprised, he had investigated all of Natsuki's records. Nature knows its abilities. This ability to instantly appear behind the enemy was already within his prediction. Yeah. It seems that you pay attention to me a lot, what an honor. Natsuki failed to make a single cut, instead of retreating, he raised his Zanpakudo and continued to slash forward. Time. The two kept slashing at each other in the air. The exaggerated speed dazzled the few people on the side. Watching this scene, a Toribashi Rojiro widened his eyes. He knew the strength of Aizen, but he didn't expect that Natsuki would be able to confront such a powerful Aizen for so long, and he couldn't help feeling. It's incredible. Natsuki is so strong that he can even match Aizen. A Toribashi Rojiro knows how powerful Aizen is, and the four of them together are no match for Aizen. However, Natsuki can fight Aizen with ease. This exaggerated combat power far exceeded his initial imagination. And the air battlefield. The battle is still at a stalemate. Natsuki, that's all you have to say. If you want to deal with me, don't be a fool. Natsuki is fast, but Aizen isn't bad either, and he even has enough power to taunt Natsuki in battle. Yeah. Do you think that this is the only level one have? Naoki said abruptly. The sound fell instantly. An ominous premonition emerged in Aizen's mind. This kind of feeling, just like in the last battle of Soul Society, is incomprehensible. But the next moment, Aizen didn't even have time to react. When his left arm came out, there was a burst of tearing pain. Soul, shadow slash. But he saw a phantom appearing beside Natsuki. Natsuki and this phantom swung their swords towards Aizen at the same time, and two afterimages of sabers followed behind them. Next moment, blood was flying, and a severed arm fell from the sky. You shadow slash medium and close range attack skills. Natsuki and Yoli slash forward together, named after the afterimage behind them. Pa ta, pa ta, blood continued to flow out from the broken part of the arm, and fell from the air to the ground, splashing a burst of blood. And this scene, it also completely shocked everyone. I saw Natsuki standing in midair out of emptiness, holding Zanpakuto with one hand, and a wicked smile rose from the corner of his mouth. Sharply, blood from Aizen drips from time to time. Looking at this picture, Captain Shinigami, Visard and his team all looked on one side. In an instant, the entire battlefield fell into dead silence. Even, many people seemed to have forgotten to breathe, watching this scene blankly. Looking at Aizen whose arm was cut off and blood kept falling from the sky, that invincible man has finally been injured since the beginning of the war. And at this moment, Kurosaki Ichigo, who watched this scene, was even more shocked. One knife. Just one knife. What the hell is going on with this shit, let's hang it up. With just one stroke, Natsuki slashed the enemy that he couldn't hurt with all his strength. He even chopped off one of his arms, has Natsuki's strength surpassed his own so much. At the same time, Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni raised his eyes slightly. His eyes passed through the crowd, and he looked at Natsuki, especially the Zanpakuto he was holding in his hand. Suddenly, a glint of approval flashed in his eyes. It's not bad that the attack is crisp and neat, leaving no time for the enemy to react. The entire battlefield was silent for a long time. Only then did everyone realize that they were still fighting. Huh. Sui Feng let out a breath, looked at Natsuki, a little flustered in his heart, if he had treated him like this back then. I might have already. Jingle Chunshui reached out to press the brim of the hat, but pressed it on the hair, and then it sounded that the straw hat had been consumed in the previous battle. Feel helpless. Yeah, young people these days are really good. You don't give us old people any face at all, you actually chopped off Aizen's arm with a single knife. Ha ha ha. That's right, that's how battles should be. 
Zaraki Kenpachi grinned grinningly, sure enough, watching the battle, watching Natsuki is refreshing. The kind of pleasure that cuts to the flesh. Only Natsuki, who has ever-changing fighting styles, is the best at it. And at this moment, Natsuki waved Zanpakuto. The blood on the knife fell from the air to the ground. After finishing the movements in his hands, he raised his head to look at Aizen in a calm manner, his eyes focused on the severed arm, and joked. What do you think of this knife? The voice fell. Aizen rolled his eyes at Dwanbi, his expression was exceptionally calm. Lisa Atoribashi Rojiro the four of them have exhausted all kinds of hardships and never hurt themselves. Can Natsuki hit, he cut off one of his arms directly. Sure enough, he deserved to be the person I thought was the most incomprehensible. Your means are really amazing. Aizen's face was calm, and even the loss of an arm could not make him lose control of his expression. But the moment the words fell. However, Aizen's broken wall was filled with flesh and blood, and a new arm grew instantly. He also looked at Natsuki and chuckled. But, it's not that easy to deal with me. High speed, regeneration. Looking at Aizen's recovered arm, Natsuki tilted his head and asked curiously. But the moment the voice fell. But he shook his head again, denying the previous speculation. No, no, I didn't feel the breath of Shu just now, so this is not high speed, regeneration. The voice fell. Aizen looked at Natsuki with a smile on his lips. That's right, to be able to do this, to be honest, I need to thank you. Talking room, he ripped off his white dress. He exposed his chest, and saw that a shining sphere was stuck on his chest. Moment. Everyone was stunned, especially Yurahara Kazuki, even sighed. Hogyoku, although I already knew this. But when he experienced Hogyoku's ability for himself, he still couldn't help but feel a little regretful. And at this moment, Aizen did not hesitate to introduce his current situation. That's right. Aizen commented, it was Hogyoku's ability just now, he responded to my wish not to get hurt, and he restored my injury. Since, Hogyoku can heal your wounds. I don't mind even than you, I have a few more wounds on my body. Heard this Natsuki's eyes flickered slightly, and Zanpakuto flashed again in his hand. You draw your sword and cut. Moment, Yuri's phantom appeared next to Natsuki. The two made the same sword drawing movement, and an X-shaped sword light cut out. Moment. The whole sky has become eclipsed. The light of the knife hadn't dissipated, and it slashed towards Aizen's neck. Under the influence of Hogyoku, Aizen healed faster than ordinary people imagined. But if he was killed on the spot. Normally, even Hogyoku cannot bring a dead person back to life. However, a glass like a transparent shield suddenly appeared. Ding. Blocked the attacking knife light, and made a crisp sound. The cutting technique is good. Looking at the blocked attack in front of him, Aizen commented calmly. Interesting, that was the breath of Hogyoku just now. Natsuki raised his eyebrows, looking thoughtfully at the glass-like transparent shield in front of Aizen. As a person who also holds collapsed jade, he was more sensitive to Hogyoku's breath than anyone present. Therefore, in front of this transparent shield, he clearly felt the aura belonging to Hogyoku. After the words fell, a trace of surprise flashed across Aizen's calm face, and there was a touch of luster in the eyes looking at Natsuki. As expected of Natsuki-kun, I sensed the breath of Hogyoku just by touching it for the first time. But, in the middle of speaking, Aizen's expression froze suddenly. I saw a figure appearing behind me at some unknown time, and the Zanpakuto in my hand exuded an icy cold air. Aizen, don't be distracted in battle, this is what you taught me. Hitsugaya Toshiro clasped Hirinmaru tightly in his hand, his voice was as cold as the Hirinmaru in his hand. The moment the voice fell, it didn't give Aizen time to react, Zanpakuto went straight through the back. PFF. The blade pierced through the flesh with a popping sound. But the moment the blood flowed out, it was frozen by Hirinmaru's ultimate's low temperature, turning into frost and hanging on the knife. Captain Tashiro. Looking at Zanpakuto passing through the belly, Aizen slowly turned his head to look behind him, his voice was still calm but inexplicably, it gave people a feeling of depression. As if Aizen was forcibly suppressing the dissatisfaction in his heart. Watching this scene, this thought flashed through Natsuki's mind. And the next moment, the calm voice sounded again. Aizen turned around and looked at Toshiro who stabbed him with a knife, and asked. Hasn't anyone ever taught you, my boy, not to cut in when grown-ups are talking? The moment the voice fell, Toshiro's pupils contracted suddenly. Pain. 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 An ultimate pain erupted in his mind instantly, forcing him to look down at his abdomen. A handful of Zanpakuto, I don't know when it passed behind me. Just like before, he was in the same position as the backstab behind Aizen. 
This sudden attack made Hitsugaya Toshiro silent, because the one who pierced his body was not an ordinary Zanpakuto. Rather, Zanpakuto in the Shikai state. But what is even more desperate is that this Zanpakuto is very familiar to him. The extending and turning branches on both sides of the blade tell him that this is the Zanpakuto Feime of his childhood friend Hinamori Momo. Kaka. At this moment, Toshiro turned his head stiffly. Just like Aizen's previous movement of turning his head to look behind him, he looked at the girl behind him with teardrops in his eyes. Not allowed. You are absolutely not allowed to hurt Master Aizen. Look at Aizen Sama who was stabbed by a friend, Hinamori Momo announced with tears in his eyes. Totally ignored. Hitsugaya Toshiro's pupils froze for a moment at these words. At the same time, the moment her voice fell. The demeanor of everyone present suddenly changed. They never expected that at this moment, there would be someone who betrayed on the spot. Damn it, it's actually a peach. Matsumoto Rangaku looked at this scene, and looked at his team leader with distress. TCH, to be hurt by this kind of garbage, it really is a brat. Zaraki Kenpachi curled his lips indifferently. Everyone is a captain level existence. Even the Ryatsu unleashed by the unconscious is enough to fend off the onslaught of garbage like Hinamori Momo. But, Toshiro was successfully attacked by him. This means that even unconsciously, Tu Niang is not on guard against Hinamori Momo. Its Ryatsu, in the face of the attack, did not take any precautions at all. This redundant and boring emotion made him feel bored, and he even wanted to vomit right now. Far away Ichimaru Jin watched this scene. The squinting pupils opened slightly, and the corners of the mouth raised a joking smile. Yeah yeah, Captain Aizen, you are really wicked. Captain Aizen, you really are a bad joke. Looking at Hitsugaya Toshiro who was stabbed through the abdomen with a knife in the distance, Ichimaru Jin smiled jokingly. Aizen, really didn't notice Toshiro's sneak attack? How is it possible, that man, but even himself is on guard, how could he not notice the existence of Toshiro? Then there will be the current situation. Quite simply, Aizen did it on purpose, following Toshiro's sneak attack on purpose. As for the cause, it's very simple, of course it's peaches with a cold heart. Thinking of this, the smile on the corner of Ichimaru Jin's mouth became more real, and he couldn't help chuckling. I deliberately used Kyoka Suigetsu to cover up Hinamori Momo's aura, as expected of Captain Aizen. Everything before. Ichimaru Jin stood far away and could see clearly from the beginning to the end. In the previous confrontation between Natsuki and Aizen, especially when Natsuki cut off Aizen's arm, Hinamori Momo approached everyone like a madman. Aizen clearly sensed this. With the direct help of Kyoka Suigetsu's ability, he covered Hinamori Momo's aura, allowing him to come to him unimpeded all the way. Then deliberately talked to Natsuki. Cell? A flaw behind you to lure the enemy to attack. As for the person who attacked, under the control of Kyoka Suigetsu, Toshiro was determined from the beginning. And at this moment Hinamori Momo clasped Zanpakuto in his hands. Looking at the face full of surprises in front of me, my heart was completely overwhelmed. Sorry, Toshiro. I cannot forgive anyone who hurts Master Aizen. So. Go to hell. The voice fell. Hand Zanpakuto pulled out hard. Poo. Branches extending from both sides of Feimei Dao's body. Immediately, a large piece of flesh and internal organs were taken out of Hitsugaya's body. Clatter, blood and organ fragments continued to fall from the air. As for Hitsugaya Toshiro, who suffered such a heavy blow, his face turned pale instantly, and he didn't even have the strength to glance at Hinamori Momo. It fell from the sky with a bang. At the same time, due to the serious injury, the swastika Dagoran Hirinmaru was automatically released, and a large number of ice blocks fell together. This moment, inexplicably showing a sense of desolation. HMPH. Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni snorted coldly, without making too many comments. But at this moment, this cold snort, is enough to express his dissatisfaction. Maybe he didn't expect that the second captain who lost his combat effectiveness would do so in this way. Such a ridiculous way. Captain Hitsugaya, it seems that this talented boy needs to be quiet for a while, but this may not be a bad thing. Watch Toshiro fall from the sky. Yuno Hana Retsu is still smiling gently, but at the same time, she is urging the flesh under her feet to catch Toshiro. And swallow it into the stomach. Start recovering from the injuries you just received. Oops, it's unbelievable to be attacked by Vice Captain Hinamori. Jingle Chunshui stood beside Jishiro Yukataki. After watching Hitsugaya Toshiro being swallowed into Shizuku's belly, he said helplessly to Jishiro Yukataki beside him. To this, Jishiro Yukataki just shook his head helplessly. As an outsider, how can he take care of Hitsugaya Toshiro's emotional problems? And at this moment, after pulling out the Zanpakuto, 
Hinamori Momo didn't even look at Toshiro who fell from the sky, but instead held the blood-stained Zanpakuto and looked up at Aizen with an innocent smile on his face. Master Aizen. I, I'm here to help. Facing this girl who is full of longing for herself. Aizen gave a response without any stinginess, only to see him smiling gently as always. Long time no see, Hinamori, but the words are not finished. Hinamori Momo could no longer suppress the excitement in her heart. He threw himself directly into Aizen's arms, greedily sucking the familiar breath. However, the reversal strikes at the next moment. Pooh! Hinamori Momo's eyes widened in disbelief. Looking down, he saw that a Zanpakuto with a frosty breath pierced his heart. This is, as if thinking of something, Hinamori Momo opened his mouth. Aizen said the answer she wanted to say at this time. That's right. This is Zanpakuto Hirinmaru of Toshiro. Aizen stroked the hair of the girl in his arms, and gently said the name of this Zanpakuto. Toshiro was attacked just now, after falling from the sky, the Zanpakuto fell into his hands. Now, using this Zanpakuto to deal with backstabbing Toshiro's Hinamori Momo is simply not a good fit. 4. Dot why? The heart was pierced, the piercing pain made Hinamori Momo pale. But compared to the piercing pain, what hurts more is her soul. She didn't understand that for him, even her childhood sweetheart Toshiro would not hesitate to attack him, but. But why, I have done this, Aizen Sama is going to kill me. She. Could it be that I have not done well enough? At this moment, Hinamori Momo widened his eyes and looked at Aizen beggingly, hoping to get an answer from him. Perhaps the last mercy. Or, I want to see that more desperate look. Aizen smiled, his smile was as gentle as ever, but the words that came out of his mouth were so cold to Hinamori Momo. Why? In that case, let me tell you. At this moment, Aizen raised a smile on the corner of his mouth, and said with a light smile. Longing is the feeling that is the farthest from understanding, Hinamori. Momo. The moment the voice fell. Hinamori Momo's pupils trembled for a moment, looking forward to. So that's the case. From the very beginning, she has not been favored by Master Aizen. With despair, and the inexplicable remorse in my heart. Hinamori Momo's body was released by Aizen and fell from the sky. Its body brushed past Natsuki, but Natsuki just glanced at it and ignored it. What does it have to do with him to seek death? Boom! Hinamori Momo fell from the sky. The head fell to the ground first, and exploded like a watermelon. But everyone, whether it's Shinigami side, or Visard, or Aizen. All of them just cast a glance and don't pay attention. Traitor. No matter where it is, it is an existence that is despised by people. Not to mention, Hinamori Momo backstabs Toshiro who grew up with him. Die as simple as that, it can even be said that she is a little too cheap. Hinamori. Matsumoto Rangaku looked at the corpse on the ground with complicated eyes, but his eyes gradually became cold when he thought of the captain who was stabbed in the back. Now this situation, probably the best ending for Toshiro and Hinamori Momo. And at this moment, Aizen looked at it Natsuki again. As if smiling, he suddenly asked Natsuki, Natsuki-kun. I think you should be able to understand. The so-called gap between longing and understanding, is there a huge natural barrier between them? As soon as the voice fell, Natsuki shrugged nonchalantly. Basically, the former stems from admiration for someone or something, while the latter comes from thinking the same about something. For Natsuki, the word longing, because of the probability, will not appear on me. After all, as a time traveler, it is impossible for you to let him dream about these characters he knows so well. Now, listen to Natsuki's answer. The eyes of Aizen on the opposite side flickered slightly, and the smile on the corner of his mouth became more and more obvious. Obviously, he was satisfied with Natsuki's answer, or rather, he was not surprised that Natsuki could give such an answer. After all this is the existence that can hurt oneself. However, just when Aizen was about to speak again. Suddenly, Aizen and Natsuki raised their brows at the same time, and looked aside, only to see an old figure appear beside them at some time. Yamamoto Yuan Yanasai Shigakuni. Those old but penetrating eyes lingered on Natsuki for a moment, then finally turned to Aizen, and said slowly. Aizen. The boring playhouse game is over. The moment the voice fell, he doesn't give Aizen time to react at all. Boom. Fiery Fury Riatsu explodes. A flaming slash, instantly slashed towards Aizen Sosuke in front of him. Hot. This is the heat that I have felt before the execution platform. No, the flame at this time is hotter than it was a month and a half ago. Subconsciously, Aizen stands in front of him with one hand. Hado's 81 splitting void. After the voice fell, a huge transparent defensive wall appeared, just in front of Aizen. Fiery slash, when cutting on this transparent defensive wall, 
hot flames spread backward from the left and right sides of the defensive wall. Perfect for avoiding Aizen. So far, Aizen has successfully defended against the sudden attack of Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni. The existence of the transparent defensive wall also reached its limit, and it continued to shatter and dissipate in a burst of crackling sounds. Aizen withdrew his right hand, putting it back in his pocket, he said in a leisurely manner. Captain Yamamoto finally took action himself, can't you wait? The voice fell, he didn't wait for Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni to respond. His eyes swept over all the people present, Captain Shinigami plus members of Visard, taking into account the status of the group. Yeah yeah, it seems that the subordinates who have failed to live up to expectations are in poor condition. That's why I chose to do it myself. My guess is correct, Your Excellency, Chief Captain. Yamamoto Motoyanagi Shigakuni raised an eyebrow. But did not speak, just tossed tightly in the hands of the flow of disillusionment. Seeing this, Aizen lost interest in chatting with Natsuki, and the smile on his mouth gradually became dull. Face me in their state. Defeat is the result of what is about to happen. At that point, you will be the only one left in the entire Gote 13th Division. If you lose, the Gote 13th Division will literally collapse. So, in order to avoid this ending, you have to leave the country yourself. These words come down. Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni's breath finally changed. If he was just a hot flame before, then he is now a flame that is about to erupt with anger. Don't be so self righteous, Aizen Brat. Although the voice is still calm, but at this moment, Yamamoto Motoyanagi Shigakuni's eyes are particularly deep. Eyes fixed on Aizen. Under this deep gaze, he slowly opened his mouth and said, Do you think this ability can hurt the old man? It's too whimsical. The voice fell. There was a look of interest on Aizen's face. His gaze also swept across the body of Yamamoto Motoyanagi Shigakuni, meaning to point out, I don't expect to hurt you, because, as early as one and a half months ago, I have already hurt you. The voice fell, Yamamoto Genryasai's pupils shrank impressively. Anger erupted at this moment, and the scene of his arm being cut off a month and a half ago appeared in his mind. For thousands of years, I still know how to play tricks on the enemy. Not to mention, the one who played tricks on him turned out to be a traitor from Gote Shisanban. With all kinds of anger accumulating, Yamamoto Genryasai Shigakuni ominously continued wasting time, and directly roared. Little devil, you are too presumptuous, the moment the voice fell. Horror hot Ryatsu burst out again. Instead of using flame slash, this time, Yamamoto Motoyanagi Shigakuni chose to condense the flames on the blade. Then, a merciless horizontal cut, boom. The huge force caused the entire space to tremble the moment the slash was struck. B. Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni's pupils trembled. I saw that Aizen, who was standing in front of me just now, disappeared in an instant. Behind. With years of combat experience, Yamamoto Yuanryasai discovered Aizen's position and subconsciously turned around to deal with it. But at this very moment, PFF, Aizen simply poked forward. Kyoka Suigetsu broke through the Ryatsu defense of Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni and penetrated his abdomen. One move. With just one move, Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni was seriously injured. PFF, Zanpakuto goes through the Ryatsu defense. It easily pierced the body of Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni, and blood continued to overflow from the wound. However, there was a smile on the old face. HMPH, I got you, Aizen. Brat, looking at Aizen, Yamamoto Motoyanagisai Shigakuni said with a sneer. The voice fell. The corners of Aizen's mouth twitched slightly. Apparently, Yamamoto Motoyanagi Shigakuni's words aroused a little interest for him, and asked calmly. Interesting, so what if you catch me? And, is it really my arm that you grabbed? A breeze blew through the air. In hot Ryatsu, the cold air is filled with hot breath. However, when the scorching air brushed Aizen's face, a strand of hair seemed to be lifted, making him inexplicably full of momentum. This moment, Aizen confronted Yamamoto Genri Saiju countries and sneered. You should be well aware of Kyoka Suigetsu's abilities, right? Is this also the so-called complete hypnosis? It turns out that it is so, what you see and feel is unbelievable. Yamamoto Motoyanagi Shigakuni raised an eyebrow. Listening to Aizen's meaningful words, he further understood Kyoka Suigetsu's abilities. But the next moment, he looked at Aizen with full confidence, and said seriously. But ah, the Ryatsu I felt when I was pierced by Zanpakuto in the abdomen, old man, I can't admit it. Talking room, he clenched Aizen's arm more and more. As for Aizen, the expression on his face was extremely calm from the beginning to the end, without any change. 
While clenching your arms, Yamamoto Motoyanagi Shigakuni said quietly. You say I missed my chance. No, on the contrary, the time is just right. The moment the voice fell, Natsuki in the distance suddenly noticed that Ryatsu around him became active. This is. Feel the lively Ryatsu all around. As if arranged in some elaborate fashion, this inexplicable feeling immediately reminded Natsuki of a skill of Ryujin Jaka. Fiery Hell release your own Ryatsu to mobilize the heaven and earth Ryatsu. Form dozens of Tongtian fire pillars surrounding the enemy, and detonate instantly when the fire pillars gather together. Its power, it can turn the land with a radius of 100 kilometers into scorched earth. This move can be called the strongest move in Ryujin Jaka Shikai state. Although Natsuki knew that Yamamoto Motoyanagi would use this trick, he felt it at the moment. Only then did I understand, why is Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni the strongest Shinigami in the millennium? Just Zanpakuto's Shikai move, the Ryatsu it consumes has exceeded all the Ryatsu of a normal Shinigami captain. And contains so exaggerated Ryatsu's attack. The only way to resist it is to face it head on with the more powerful Ryatsu's attack. At the same time, the fiery Ryatsu begins to fuse. Boom! Dozens of Tongtian fire pillars are shooting straight towards the sky. Red, hot red. This moment is in everyone's eyes. This is. Kurosaki Ichigo widened his eyes, feeling the majestic Ryatsu, his eyes were filled with disbelief. He actually used this trick, it seems that Master Shan is serious. Jingle Chunshui put his hands into his arms at some point, moved to Jashiro Yukataki's side, and spoke in a leisurely manner. Yes, Your Excellency, Chief Captain, is getting serious. Jashiro Yukataki rolled his eyes at his friend, and shook his head helplessly in response. He knows, this is when my friend saw that the captain personally shot it. From the bottom of my heart, I felt that the matter could be resolved. Although I had the same idea, I was too lax. This Ryatsu is better than my understanding. Sui Feng felt the Ryatsu emanating from the Tongtian Pillar of Fire, and looked a little dazed. In any case, I also served as the captain of the second team for a hundred years, but all the Ryatsu after the release. It turned out to be the same as a move in the state of the Captain Shikai. Such an exaggerated gap hit her hard, and she didn't understand why her strength was so weak. At the same time, Yunohana Retsu, Komamura Sajin, Kuritsuchi Mayuri, Zaraki Kenpachi, Asido and other captain level Shinigami, also noticed this huge Ryatsu. This Ryatsu. Is as hot as the sun, it's great, it's great, Ryatsu, the captain, it's just so good ha ha ha. Is this the Ryatsu of the old man sitting on the respected person? Sure enough, Captain Yamamoto's strength is as unfathomable as the sun in the sky. But remove Yunohana Retsu and Zaraki Kenpachi. The other three all showed shocked expressions. They never imagined that the strength of Yamamoto Genri Yuzai Shigakuni was so terrifying. As for Visard and others, although they were the captain, deputy captain a hundred years ago, this is the first time they have seen Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni make a move. Hey, hey, is it true? Hizi Hiroko said to herself with a silly look. This Ryatsu is even more terrifying than Aizen. Is this the strength of the captain? Mugaruma Kensai swallowed saliva with difficulty and said dryly. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. I can't take it, I have to take off my clothes. Kuna Mashiro felt the hot breath, sticking out his tongue and trying to take off his clothes. Since the captain has such a strong strength, maybe Aizen this time. Love Akawa looked expectant. Such a hot and huge Ryatsu is like a feast of flames, what a wonderful concert. Atoribashi Rojiro kept gesturing with his hands in front of him, admiring. At the same time, Ichimaru Jin, who was out of battle from the beginning, standing in midair, watching this scene. The smile on the corner of his mouth raised again, and he chuckled. Aiea, I didn't expect to see such a rare fireworks show. That's right, in his eyes, such a huge move is just a fireworks show. After all under attack at this time, but that man, that man who evolved towards a higher level. I don't know if you can evolve again this time, Aizen, Sosuke? Accompanied by soft whispers, Ichimaru Jin opened his eyes, revealing those meaningful eyes. Blazing blazing. The flame continued to burn even dying the entire sky red. This is. Aizen Sosuke looked around with great interest, taking the four Zhou Tongtian fire pillars into his eyes. Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni didn't make many shots. Therefore, even Aizen didn't fully understand Chu Shan's moves, and felt particularly novel for a while. And at this moment, feel the flames bursting around. Yamamoto Motoyanagi Shigakuni narrowed his eyes, looked at Aizen, and said in a calm but inexplicably powerful voice. Fiery hell. This is the name of my move. 
Your battles so far have created an opportunity for me to complete this move. However, listen to the words of Yamamoto Genyanagi Shigakuni. Aizen looked sideways unhurriedly and asked, Did you prepare this when your subordinates were engaged in a life and death battle? Speaking of this, he smiled softly. As expected of your excellency the captain, you are really cunning and cunning. But for Aizen's review, Yamamoto Genri Yuzai China's performance was extremely dull, but he held Aizen's arm tightly in his hand, but exerted a little force. So what if you're old and cunning? As long as you and other rebellious sinners can be sent to hell, that's enough. The moment the voice fell, the surrounding Tongtian fire pillars seemed to have reached their limit. The flames emitted are getting hotter and hotter, and the size is also bigger than the beginning. Subconsciously, waiting for Yamamoto Moto Yanasai Shigakuni to remind. Natsuki appeared next to Kurosaki Ichigo with a shunpo, grabbed his shoulder, and disappeared from the spot in an instant. Aware of this, Yamamoto Motoyanagi Shigakuni's last worries were completely dissipated. He raised his eyes and stared at Aizen closely, with a flash of farewell in his eyes, since this kind of traitor appeared under his own hands. So, even at the risk of his own life, you have to take it to hell, thinking of this, your eyes become firm. Fall to hell with me, Aizen, the moment the voice fell. The Tongtian fire pillar exploded instantly, and its heat and size increased again. But ah, Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni didn't notice that Aizen's expression didn't change at all from the beginning to the end. I saw, Aizen suddenly looked into the air, and said softly. Next, I will trouble you to appear, Wanda Wise. Wanda. Wise, Yamamoto Motoyanagi Shigakuni also heard Aizen's words, and instantly had a bad premonition, and before he had time to think about it, he swung his knife and manipulated the pillar of fire to surround him. But he was still one step too late. Crack, crack. Suddenly a dark voice appeared in midair and Wanda Wise, who was wearing a white knight suit and had blonde hair and a crown on his head, walked out slowly. Ah, like mentally handicapped, Wanda Wise could not speak a word. However, the moment he appeared, he disappeared from midair in an instant. Behind. Looking at Wanda Wise who disappeared in an instant, Yamamoto Yuanryasai Shigakuni subconsciously turned around and slashed. But just for a moment, Wanda Wise has changed into a new look. Ryujin Jaka, which was full of flames, split on Wanda Wise, and Wanda Wise suddenly fell from midair. Watching this scene, Aizen's mouth curled into a smile. Well done, you've done your job, Wanda Wise. And at this moment, Yamamoto Yuanryasai Shigakuni in midair had a stern face. He looked at the Ryujin Jaka in his hand, and saw that the flames wrapped around the Ryujin Jaka had been extinguished at some point. The flame of Ryujin Jaka disappeared, Yamamoto Genraikusai Shigakuni said in a low voice. Certainly, Aizen's voice sounded again. Yamamoto Motoraisai Shigakuni looked up subconsciously. There is no doubt that your Ryujin Jaka is the strongest Zanpakuto, and if it comes to a head to head battle, its record is undoubtedly higher than mine. These words, it made Yamamoto Motoyanagi Shigakuni feel ominous. And Aizen's next words definitely made him understand where this ominous premonition came from. But if you give up everything, only special strengthening for a certain point can compete with your strongest. During the conversation, Aizen looked at Wanda Weiss and explained. Wanda Weiss is the only one who transforms Arankar, and his returning blade is named Mie, Huo, Huang, Z. The moment the sound fell, Yamamoto Genri Asai Shigakuni's pupils widened. I understand, he understands everything, this Arankar is the Arankar specially modified by Aizen to limit himself. And at this time, Aizen's explanation continues. Wanda Wise has only one mission, and that is to seal your Ryujin Jaka, that's all. The voice fell, it seems to confirm Aizen's explanation. Suddenly, the scorching hell, originally displayed by Ryujin Jaka, the several Tongtian fire pillars were extinguished at the same time. A sky red with flames, it also slowly changed its original blue appearance. At this moment, the exaggerated high temperature seems to be the only thing that can prove the existence of the scorching hell. Watch the changes around you. Aizen made a final explanation for Wanda Wise's ability. In order to do this, Vandal Wise lost language, knowledge, memory, and even rationality. The moment the voice fell, Yamamoto Motoyanagi Shigakuni is angry, completely angry. If he just wants to restrain his own ability, he has nothing to say, but in order to achieve his goal, he forcibly transforms others, which is unbearable. Aizen. Lost it? I think it was taken away by you. Sinner Aizen for doing such an insane thing just to restrain me. But for these words, Aizen's expression didn't change a bit, he just glanced away. Under Hogyoku's will, I just chose the best, and you, 
under the suppression of Wanda Wise, will not seem to be a threat. After all, Aizen walked towards Natsuki. At the same time, a cold order came from his mouth. Come on, Zhang Tian Wise. Go and get rid of your excellency the captain. Pull it out. 